Hello, Jason here. Today is May 28th, and this is your aftermarket update. So as I'm making this video for you, we had a very nice OTG trade of the day. It was 204 ticks. It went from 22. We were targeting 77. You're going to hear that in the video. Actually hits but no fills at 77, and I slide the stop up to 73. And it is ends up being a, uh, over 200 tick OTG trade of the day. It's important, though, for me to tell you that it was not an easy day by any stretch of the imagination. You know that we have our trade plan, and we look at these different time frames, and we have these ideas of what we're expecting the market to do at different times. Today, the market was in a very much a sideways pattern here. As you can see, as we rotate in between our support and resistance bands here most of the day, it was a very sideways, choppy type day. And again, I felt some of that as we were going through it. I had a number of trades that went at least 10 ticks positive, but not quite 15, which is where my first target is. And they would come back and take me out at break even. I had a few losing trades as we went through this day as well. And it wasn't until we got to uh, this time frame here at uh, 121, and that is right here where this red arrow is, 121. And this is the uh, time frame that we were expecting uh, the long to come in. I don't know if you can see this. Hopefully you can see this on your on the screen. Let me zoom in on this. This is your OTG daily trade plan. And at 1.21 p.m., we were expecting, gosh, something's going on here. At 1.21 p.m., we were expecting a time frame move to the long side. We got in right here off of the long at 1.21, uh, ended up getting in up here at 22. This is 1.21 p.m. I ended up getting in at 22, and the market went up to my target at 77. I just want to make sure, though, that I am perfectly clear. This is a very cool trade. It goes very quickly in our direction. The, the trade itself is only nine minutes long, but we had to wait and go through it the entire trading day. It is awesome when you can uh, get into a trade like we did on Friday and it goes your favor. It's 110 ticks. We're done in 30 minutes and everybody goes about their the rest of your day is free. And it is awesome when that happens. That happens on occasion. Today is a type of day that happens on occasion as well. It took me all the way to the very end of the trading day, 1.21 p.m., for me to catch the winner that went to the target that I was expecting to get to after a number of trades that either A, went break even, small profit, or losing trades. And that's the way that it goes sometimes. So again, I want to make no want you to make no mistake. This was not an easy day. This is a very cool trade. This trade gets me out of the hole that I was in leading into this trade today. So again, for the sake of this discussion, it is important for you to know that it was a difficult trading day and that this trade actually pulled me out of the fire, so to speak, and got me green on the day. So Having said all of that, it was a very cool trade. Our trade plan called this time frame. It was off one of our support and resistance bands, and it went up to the next target on our list up here at 77. So without further ado, I'm going to let you watch the OTG trade of the day. And here... And we're going to push all these targets up to 77. And I'll use a trail stop in behind it. I'm going to push all these targets up to 77. Is it going to get up there between here and there? I don't know. we got to get through the 28 level, though. My stop right now is... Nine. Stop is at nine. Need to pop through 28. May just end up on this 22 to end the day here, possibly. <sighs> what a waste of time at this 22 level all day. 106 short at 25. We just got through it now. Let's see if we can pop through 28. Yeah, I think you're probably right. Up there at uh, 25, you got a little bit of a double top. 
We'll see if this thing pushes through into the close here. 77 up there is the target. We'll see if you get that hustle into the close here. We got to get up through 28. 25, then 28. There's 23, 24. 25, no hits at 25 yet. No takers yet. There's 24. Got to get through 25. Still no takers at 25. There's 25. 27. 28 is that area that we've had all the top up there. That was the topping area at 28. Pop 28 here. Pop through 28. Three and a half minutes here. Still no takers at 28 yet. If we pop 28, we'll go to 35 pretty quickly, I think. If we pop 28... Didn't touch 28. You've got uh, eight minutes here. 27, 28. Five orders have hit the offer at 28. That's it. You only had five orders hit the offer at 28. Pop 28 to 29. Okay, no takers at 29 yet. Oh, one or two lonely orders at 29. Stop is at 08. Yeah, I don't think we're going to hit 77 unless something ridiculously crazy happens here in the next five minutes so we are just gonna wrap we've just wrapped ourselves around this 22 for a long time today So we couldn't get through 28. Sort of funny. Not funny, haha. -ha. Funny, ironic. Five and a half minutes here till the end of the session. If, if you were to get that exuberant push up, it would be to 77. That would, is the next step in the price action here is 77. But 59 is likely the place where this will stop. It will likely be 59. If this is going to, there's, there we go, come on. Okay, there's 38, 39. The stop is at break even, of course. 77 is your target. Stop is 23. 77 is your target. There's 51, 52, or 41, 42, rather. Hang on to it here. 
77 is your target. We came up to 43. 77 is your target. 59 could be the place where it stops. You've made it this far. I'm expecting it to finish up to 77. Fifty nine is your daily high to low. Okay, daily high to low at uh, fifty nine seventy point five. Twenty four on the stop. I'm gonna try to ride this thing into the close. You've got three and a half minutes here. See if we can't push this thing up. Settlements up there at fifty one. Need to push through 42. The ETH session open is up there at 64. Your ETH session open is at 64. Three and a half minutes left here. Got to 41. Let's see if we could pop through 44 actually is where we got to. See if we could start... If we get up to settlement and pause, I'm going to go to 27 on the stop right now. There's 40, 41. We'll see if we get to settlement at 51. There's 42, 43. I've got a level here at 44. Sorry, 42. There's 44 now. Okay, there's 46. Let's bring this to 32, 33. 77 is the target. Come on, just give it to me here. All the way up, all the way up. There's settlement at 52, 53. Your target is 77. There's 58, 59. We'll go to 42 on the stop. Go to 37 on the stop. 77 is your final target. 106 up there, 59, remember 59 I told you is the day high to low, 70.5. You've got, you've been as high as 58 and we said 59 was that number, okay? But don't expect 59 to hold it here. I think we can get it up to 77. Trailing stop is now 42. Come on, baby. There's 63, 64. That's the ETH session. There's 67. I'm going to bring this stop up to 52 now. I think we're going to make it to 77, the target at 77. 52 is the trail stop. That's break even plus 30. There's 72, 73. Uh, 60, 57 is the target. There's 70, or is the uh, trail stop. There's 71, 72. We got as high as 73. There's 71, 72. There's 73. 62 here is the trail stop now. There's 72, 73. We're looking to get to 77. We got to the bottom of that zone down there. Trail stop is 64. There's 73, 74, 75, 76. And there's your target at 77. Hit but no fail. I'm going to go ahead and get out right there at 73. All right, so again, you can see on the video, we did get up here where this arrow is. We did spike right there up to the 77 level. Uh, it did come down. I wasn't sure how far it was going to retrace once we got that spike up. And so I quick slid in the uh, trailing stop in behind it to 73. Of course, it comes down to 69, uh, gets up here to 57.91, and ultimately hits a high at 58.07. So not complaining. Um, would have liked those additional four ticks, but not complaining. It was definitely uh, a very nice trade. It, like I said uh, earlier in the video, this actually saved me uh, today as I was down ticks heading into that final trade. And this trade pulled me out and got me uh, green on the day. I wish every day was easy, where you, like I said, where you get in and get out really quick and we're done. They're not always like that. Some days are like today where you have to stay to the bitter end. And uh, as long as, uh, again, as long as we end up green, that's really uh, the only thing that's important, I guess. So as always, I want to say thank you for spending time watching the video here at the Oil Trading Group. Uh, we certainly appreciate you uh, spending time with us here. And until tomorrow, I want to wish you good luck and good trade.